Well, uh, let's start with what you see on the screen. Uh, right now you can't see a lot. So I'll show you a little bit of the mess around my room. Um, anyway, so first thing you see is that you can close the camera, obviously. Then you have the options key, as well as, um, let's put it like this, this is better. Um, this is, uh, these are the options for everything you want to do with uh, the image. So, if we click this one, we have the scenes. Uh, so we have auto, portrait, landscape, twilight landscape, uh, beach or snow, which where there is a lot of sun and a lot of reflection. Uh, twilight portrait document as well as sports if you notice there is no uh, close-up mode or macro mode um, inside these uh, I tried using the document but this is the, the document mode isn't made for like taking close-up pictures of things other than paper documents because it, because it uses some sort of exposure um, and setting there is that takes uh, very weird pictures. Uh, the macro mode is actually inside the auto mode so all you have to do is like go into auto mode and if what you're trying to take a picture of is very very close to you um, it will automatically take it as a macro picture. This is very nice because that's one less button to press when you want to take a very close up picture. The second thing is the shooting mode so we have the normal as well as whoop, panorama uh, Sony Ericsson's best pick technology which takes uh, several pictures one after the other and eventually allows you to choose the best one uh, where everyone is smiling or where for example the kid is jumping if you're trying to take a picture of your kid jumping and stuff like that then we have whoop, the device is turning um, then we have the smile detection as well as something that is very very genius which is touch capture uh, with touch capture what you can do is basically say where you want your image to or your uh, uh, so where you want the focus of the image to be uh, no, right now doing a demo while holding a camera and trying to take a picture is basically probably not the best thing that I can do. But well, let's get back. Anyway, so this allows you to choose which part of the image you want to focus on. So if you have like something very close to you and something very far away from you, you can choose uh, to do some sort of effect by either focusing on the close thing or on the far uh, far away thing. Um, whoop. So I took a picture. Anyway, um, the third one is uh, the flash, which allows you to toggle it to off or to uh, red eye, as well as the exposure. And uh, this is an auto mode, which where you can basically set nothing, uh, and you could toggle it on and off. Um, let's go into um, what I want to show you as well is that there are a couple of icons here on top. Uh, this is the GPS antenna which shows that I'm geotagging my images right now. Then there's um, the 12, uh, there's an icon that says 12 million. I'm not sure it shows very well in the video but it says 12m which is basically 12 megapixels so right now i'm taking pictures in the highest resolution possible then we have the camera icon as well as 289 which shows me how many pictures i can take on the memory um the nice part about this uh device other than having a very nice very well lit and very nice uh camera button uh we also have a camera video uh toggle so if I press this one, I go into video mode and right now you can see that I'm on VGA, the first icon says VGA and the second icon is a film strip and this replaces the camera uh, icon that we were seeing when we were into image mode. So now I'm switching back, okay, so we're back and 
here I don't know if you can see but there is a flower which shows that we're taking pictures into a macro um, uh, some sort of macro mode although I'm still in auto but it, uh, it automatically detects that I want to take a picture of something very close here uh, so let's see the options that we have uh, so for the photo we have the self timer uh, which can be set to off or on we have the picture size and you can choose whatever you want between these we have the focus uh, so you can set it to infinite to auto or to whatever you want and then we have the white balance the image stabilizer uh, it's available only when the flash is off anyway uh, then we have the effect Oop. the photo and this allows you to go into negative or solarize or sepia or black and white mode and then we have the shutter sound which is very nice to have as a setting and you can set it as off or choose whatever sound that you want and that's basically genius because on Nokia devices you can't choose that um, or you can choose it but you can turn it off you can't turn it off uh, and the video settings we have the self timer as well we have uh, the video format uh, the white balance as well as effects so here also in video mode whoop, doesn't want to click in video mode you can still take videos in sepia or in black and white or in solarize or in negative uh, mode and that is basically very fun if you want to take pictures and make them look like, like they're very old with black and white and stuff like that um, this is the video setting then we have the setup which uh, allows you to set if you want to see the picture after it's taken uh, the best pick technology speed geotag the images or not auto rotate the images as well as reset so basically um, that's the part about the camera browser uh, let's switch um, also the volume keys function as zoom keys as with any Nokia device uh, and S60 device as well so that's not very new uh, let's go into video mode and here I want to show you a couple of things first one is well, let's look at this you can see if the night mode is off or on so when you set it to on the image will take a lot of time in order to appear uh, in the video um, and then we have uh, the microphone which you can turn off or on and that is very nice to have as well if you want to take some videos with no sound and then add sound to them later on and this allows you to toggle the light so um, it launches the LED light for the videos and basically this is very uh, not bad actually so I don't know if you can see the difference but well um it's a very nice LED light and let's put it to off then we have the exposure as well as you can launch the auto mode and not care about the settings at all um the options here well basically are the same as what we've seen when we were into uh, camera mode except that right now whoop, okay whatever I want to do right now except that right now uh, it launched into video mode instantly instead of opening the photo pane and then switching um, this is about it for the video mode or on uh, uh, the Sony Ericsson or the camera uh, capabilities of the Sony Ericsson Sasha